Our last section before application examples is testing and validation of material. Electrical properties such as volume resistivity and shielding effectiveness are measured to confirm that the materials will properly shield the cavities they are meant to isolate. Physical testing such as heat aging, adhesion, and compression versus deflection data gives insights into planning for the use of foreign place gaskets into assemblies and their long-term reliability. Each property has a different test procedure and often an industry spec associated with it, such as IEEE, ASTM, or military specifications. EMI shielding testing for form-in-place gaskets is very similar to that of cured conductive elastomers. The form-in-place gasket is dispensed onto a 24 by 24 inch aluminum test plate and then cured per proper instructions. The test panel is then mounted into a brass frame per the standard IEEE 299 test and is then the shielding effectiveness is measured across the frequency spectrum. In these tests, the beads had a width of one millimeter or 40 thousandths and the proper deflection was controlled with compression stops. This is the same test setup that was used to test the gaskets after urban gas exposure where the gaskets were exposed to gases such as hydrogen sulfide, nitrogen dioxide, and chlorine gas. Form in place gaskets can also be measured for shielding effectiveness after heat aging, which is 1,000 hours at 125 degrees Celsius, high temperature and high humidity testing, which is 85 degrees Celsius and 85% relative humidity for 1,000 hours, as well as numerous cycles of compression and decompression to verify the gaskets will shield well in real life scenarios. Form in place gaskets are not the most robust because of their size, but their adhesion properties can still be tested for and optimized. Adhesion testing uses a setup and test the gaskets in shear to make sure that they will withstand handling in assembly as well as several cycles of opening and closing. Compression versus deflection is another common physical property that is tested for to understand what kind of forces are required to achieve the recommended deflection ranges that we mentioned earlier in the webinar. The same compression force setups are used to test for material through resistance relative to gasket deflection. This testing confirms that a 20% deflection is recommended for proper electricals. Just as with other EMI gasket solutions, form in place gaskets will exhibit some galvanic corrosion in uncontrolled environments. Beads of gaskets are dispensed onto an aluminum test panel and run through harsh environmental testing that encourages galvanic corrosion, specifically salt log. The panels are then cleaned and weighed to determine how much weight loss occurred as a result of the dissimilar metals between the aluminum and the gasket conductive filler. Many form in place gaskets can actually utilize conductive fillers such as nickel plated aluminum or silver plated aluminum to minimize the voltage potential and reduce damage to the parts caused by that galvanic corrosion. Additionally, using a non-conductive bead of material external to the conductive form in place can protect the electrical mating surfaces from salt fog and moisture that is needed for that corrosion to occur.